Hello friends, welcome back to the Little Korea channel again. Today I bring a new video for you on Firebase again. This video, in this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating you how you can attach your custom domain to the Firebase web app that we uploaded earlier. If you haven't watched that video, I will attach the details to the comment section below. You can uh, see that video how you can upload your web app to the Firebase. And now we are going to attach that web app to the domain that we have purchased uh, from our name provider. So before, uh, let's just jump into the video. So if you haven't watched that, I will. Uh, I would suggest you to watch that video first, then continue with uh, continue with this video. You will you will understand it better. So click get started in order to get start with the video. Okay after clicking on that as you can see we have already created a firebase web app portfolio this is the web app that i created in the previous video uh, so we are going to attach this to the domain custom domain that we have purchased so click on it when you click we, we will uh, we will get redirect to this control panel firebase control panel so under hosting you can manage the hosting of this web app here you can see that we created earlier this is the web app link if I copied it and open it in a tab you will see an app you will see a portfolio site that I uploaded previously on the Firebase it is currently running on this link so what I want uh, it is to be renamed with the domain that I have purchased it it should get open with the domain that I have uh, that I have bought here to do that click on add custom domain here under the hosting so whatever the uh, so for if you have multiple web apps select the app that you wanted to uh, that you wanted to add a custom domain so i wanted to add a custom domain for this app i'm clicking add a custom domain here i'm entering a domain name so to get a domain name uh, so you might have purchased the domain from your name provider i I recommend name.com is the best one if you go with a godaddy or some other name providers you can go ahead and purchase the domain once you purchased it you will see the domain details under my domains of your uh, of your account you need to get login in order to get your domain li listings so uh, uh, I'll make a video on this how you can purchase a domain from any name providers you can see the details of the domain that I have purchased littlecoder.info I am copying the domain name from here and pasting it over here this is the domain that I have purchased so now redirect littlecoder to an existing website uh, I am skipping this step I don't want so I don't have any website hosted for this domain so I am clicking continue clicking on continue button it take a moment to find the domain so now it is giving some txt records and uh, it is giving some info to add to the domains here it will give txt record and a name record you you will have to add that to the domain so i'm switching over to the domain here in order to add this record in the domain for the domain uh, you will get a you will get a section like manage dns record in every name provider you will get this section for sure so if you haven't get that please google it out you will get to know where you can find that okay as it is saying to add a txt record we are going to copy the value this is the value and this is the host and this is the txt record so to add a txt select a txt record over here and the host we are typing at the rate uh, at the red symbol will take the host name as the domain name and the value you can give a va give the copied value that we copied from there and click add record record got added okay now click on verify button it will verify the uh, record firebase will verify the record from the name.com it is saying unable to add domain it may be already be registered on another project okay uh, I already have a project that I registered for a firebase for that domain let me just deregister I have removed the txt record 
from the existing project that I have already added. Now I'm clicking on this verify button. I hope my domain will get verified now. It will take some uh, minutes to verify it. As you can see, my domain has got verified. So this the XT record has got verified by the Google Firebase. This is the next record type that we need to add. This record type is A and the host name is little coder i mean your domain name and the third is the ip address to which this domain points to currently pointing to so let me just switch back to this name.com here we need to select type a record copy the domain name or you can type at the rate it will take the domain name so at the rate will get replaced by the domain name copy this ip address and paste under the answer box and click add record button the record will get added now switch back to this firebase console and click finish button so our domain has got added we have successfully added our domain for this app let me just open this domain in a new tab boom you can see our website has got live on the domain that we want this is the domain that I want for this web app to be appear. So now this web app is getting open using this domain name. So I hope, I hope you guys, this video will help you adding your custom domain to your web app that you have uploaded on your Firebase. Again, I hope this video will help you doing the steps clearly. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and click the like button and if you have any questions and queries please comment me in the comment section below i'll put the details in the read more section of this video you will you can get all the urls uh, for this video okay i hope you guys will share this video with your friends and family members Bye-bye.